Well, this is kind of the popular thing. Let's rip this over and over and over. Yet, I'm making fun of it, but here I am doing it. But I do have a reason. Let's see what I'm talking about, and let's see what I'm going to rip. Let's go! Bowman Baseball. Yes, that's right. It's Bowman Baseball. You've seen it before. Two blaster boxes, but maybe not these. So I am showing you the barcode on these as they are actually different. These are ones I got from my distributor. And this is the one that I got from uh, Walmart. Uh, no, actually Target. So you can see that the number here is different. Also, the actual UPC is different. So these are what I would call the hobby version of those. So I'm gonna see if they're any better. When you look at the actual numbers, they're all the same, but um, I don't know. They've been pretty good. Uh, mine have not been near as good as others. I've opened five boxes so far. I've gotten an auto and one numbered card. I've also gotten two or three spotlights, which people are kind of counting as hits as well. Um, it wasn't a Drew Jones. Uh, I did get a Jackson Holiday, so that was nice. Um, but I, I'm interested to see. I have yet to get a green. No green parallels. And that's what these are known for. So I'm going to open two more boxes uh, for my personal use and see what I get. I don't know. I'm just a little... I'm wondering how these people are doing so well. Maybe I'm just doing bad. That's the thing. Maybe I am just doing bad. I don't know. We shall see. Box number uno. Six packs per box, 12 packs per, or 12 cards per pack. And nothing in this one. Nolan Gorman, Jackson Job, that guy, that guy, that guy. Ooh, okay, we'll take that one. One of your better prospects, Chrome. All right. Not going to complain. Edward Julian. Let's see if we can get a Drew Jones. I do have a paper of him. I have yet to pull a Chrome. That's what I would like. Nothing in this one, it doesn't seem. Michael Harris, somebody we were really excited about. Bo Naylor, Drew Waters, Francisco Alvarez. I think that's my first Francisco Alvarez. Maybe not, I don't know. Jordan Lawler, Caro, Lara, Cole Young, Ben Cosme, and Aponte. Aponte, I do believe, is some way halfway decent. Uh, never heard of this other one. You can always just check the back, too. 23rd Prospect. Me. Me. There's a lot of good sites online that put them in tiers. There's card lines. It's probably my favorite. Uh, like you're drawing a line. And that seems to be a good one. This has our Lunar in it. Oswald Cabrera. Wander, JJ Blade, Miguel Vargas, who's hitting very well. Colton Kowser, Alejandro Osuna, uh, Watson, De Los Santos, Austin Charles, and Randy De Jesus. So we got a couple here. Austin Charles isn't bad. He's a tier three. Um and when you hear me say that, I have a document that I put together and I always post it for each Bowman release. And you can find that on the Facebook page. Information on the Facebook page is top right hand corner. We did get a good one on the back. Um, looks like it is just a, uh, a normal Adley, Corbin Carroll, Morrell, Suzuki, George Valera, number 22. Number one in all the Guardian's hearts, though. 
Rojas, Garcia, Corona, Axel, and Depala. This is a tier one guy. No stats, super young. You're talking 18 years old this year. Uh, as of this recording, he is 17. So I think that's why everybody's so excited about him. If he is put on a card at that age, usually you're pretty decent. No color. Did get a first on our Lunar, which is always nice. But yet to see anything to write home about. Rookie of the Year, I do like these. Garcia, Walner, Garrett Cole, Manny Machado, Goldie, Miguel Vargas, Rookie of the Year. Like I said, he has been hitting well. Put him over there for now. Suzek, Montesino, Serta, Sanchez, and Deason. It's kind of decent. And in the, any Adley right now is a good Adley. Not hitting the way he was at the very beginning of the year, that first, you know, little bit. All right, nothing in the, oh, ooh, ooh, I spoke too soon. What is that? Got an autograph, go ahead. This guy's also hitting good. And he had like a 12 game hit streak or something. Um, put him there for now. Gross hands, finally in the majors. Egai Rosario, Kyle Stowers, Encarnacion, Kyle Harrison, Colton Kowser, De Leon, Giloff, and what do we have? Let's see. CPACD. Mm, don't know it's CD. Samuel Del Arosa. What a huge autograph. Uh, Zach Giloff. Okay, so one box, one hit. We are gonna do uh, next week, I've got some, well, need a 55 for that. I've got uh, some retail boxes and blasters and we're going to do just a straight retail rip. Um, everybody says they're better. We are going to put it to the test and to see if it actually is better. I don't know if that's the case or not. This is what we got out of there that I'm calling good. Alvarez, Charles, and De Jesus. And we're going to move this back here behind everything. And we got three cards on the on the stands. Now normally in a, a normal break, those would not be on the stands, but the auto definitely would. So let's see. One auto, one box. As of now, these are better than what I've been opening. James Outman, Ronda Outman was killing it for a while. Peraza, Lindor, Sedane, Raphael, Kevin Parada, Dominguez, Colton Calzer, Serta, and Paguero. Lots of Paguero's lately, huh? <laughs> oh. That was in the last pack last time, so just Gorman, Mitchell, Vladdy, Michael Harris again, Bo Naylor, and Ellie Dela Cruz, the Ellie show. Probably one of the hotter prospects you can pull. Tamar, Colas, Mally, Malloy, Malloy? Yeah, Malloy is what we're gonna go in. Juan Alonzo. It's Pete's little brother. Our Lunar in the third pack again. So these are pretty consistent. Um, Drew Waters, uh, Francisco Alvarez again, Oswald Cabrera, Oswaldo Cabrera. There's some different ones there. They have two of them that have very similar names that have been messing me up. Sedane Raphael, Jackson Churio, Edwin Arroyo, uh, Mario Shen Mario's Sh Hendrick, Martinez. Uh, yeah, that's jacked up. William Lugo and Luis Garcia. Lugo's good. Um, Garcia. Um, I think he might be a tier three. I can't remember the, all those tier three guys right off. Hmm. 
but let's see how it goes. As this is going, I'm going to expect the hit to be in that last pack. JJ Blade, Michael Vargas, Pena, Sosa, another Adley, Corbin Carroll, Christian Hernandez. It's a big one out of Bowman Chrome 2021, I think. Alex Ramirez, Marcos Cabrera, Samuel Zavala, Guillarte, and Robert Perez Jr. I think both of those are halfway decent. Tier 3 type guys. Two more packs. Ten minutes in. Thank you for watching the whole thing if you're watching the whole thing. If not, you just bed to the end to see what I pulled. Uh, we will do a little review. Now, these are almost prescribed the way they're coming out. This is the way the last one was. Brett Beatty had a uh, two-run hit today. I don't know if it was a double or a single. Saw he knocked in two. Ruben Santana. Ab Diaz de la Cruz with a nice scratch on it. Might come off. And Mike Romero. That's our first non first in our chrome section. Now this one, we got more that I've sleeved so far. This is coming down to it. It looks like we have a black card. We do. So we're not going to get anything that that sh spotlight is going to be our guy our hit which i don't consider a hit javi baez that's my second one jackson holiday well that's okay if we pull him though fernandez alamante Oh, Ray and Colby Thomas. Oh, Ray is not too shabby for the Brewers. Okay, well, one auto and one spotlight. Kind of like what I've been seeing every other box, but I've seen people that are opening five and getting four hits. Opening eight, getting six hits, some even having double hits. So, I don't know what to say there. Uh, this one probably is my best card out of the second box by far uh, and the auto in the other one so I've pulled it's the same it, it's basically the same I'm on uh, six boxes in three hits I don't know I wish I had all this luck everybody else did but they were kind of prescribed uh, you did get exactly everywhere they you know third pack was the lunar and then the last pack was where your hit was uh, kind of nice for breakers because you know exactly where to go with it all. Um, let me know what you think of the hobby. Did you see any difference besides I didn't get much compared to the retail? Thank you guys as always. Any support would be greatly appreciated. Like, subscribe if you haven't already. That would be great. You'll know when we do anything new. Also, we have breaks uh, usually going on Wednesday night for baseball. Football is on Saturday. More information on our Patreon where we do giveaway cards. Uh, and thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching this far. <laughs> and as always, be kind, be nice to those around you, and peace out.